I'll show you how you can play this one. Um, now, it's a very distinctive Neil Young strum on this one, that, um, that claw hammer sort of. The down is pretty much muted down, and the upstroke is accentuated on the upstroke, really grabbing at the string. You don't have to do it that way, but um, it does sound good if you can manage it. So um, I won't focus too much on the strum. I'll just give you the chords, all right? So the first chord is, I think it's an F minor 7. So put your um, second finger on the third string, fifth fret, and then your fourth finger on the second string, sixth fret. You get one of them. And what Neil does is he's just releasing that third string on and off. All right, so you're getting... down to make a D. We're going to be releasing the first string up and down from the second to the third and then off. Alright, so you're going to be releasing to that D sus too. Don't worry too much about getting it exactly right. Uh, Neil does it slightly differently each time I've seen. So um, just, just feel it and let it happen. Uh, the same chords that leading into the verse, so you need a D, a F, C, a G, a D, a F, C, and back to F. So it's almost exactly the same transition. The first one ends in a G, the second one ends back in the F. So. Neil also likes to do on his, on his F's and his C's is he's releasing quite a bit on the third string and fourth string. Also, when he's on the C, he sometimes comes back to the third string. Okay, and he mixes it up all the time, so I can't show you exactly what he does, but just throw a few of them in there and you'll get it. So I'll just do that first verse for you through once. straight to the C at the end there, rather than the F first, so then back to the F, into a G, and we've got a little run into a solo, so on the G here, you're basically just going to pluck on the third, um, on the sixth string, third fret, open fifth, second on the fifth, third on the fifth, then open fourth into your D, so... Coming into your chorus. 
so I'll just back up slightly to the end of the verse, do that little pre-chorus and come into the chorus. Same chords as that little pre intro. D, A minor 7, E minor, and G. Alright, so you repeat that, um, just continue that, that transition. So. Oh man, take a look at my life, I'm a lot like you. I need someone to love me the whole It's a quick um, G, so. A minor seven on the. E minor on the. U. Quick upstroke on a G. I need someone to love me the whole day Same chords there from the um, verse, but just doing those little releases on that um, third and fourth strings. Um, and that is all I need to show you. The rest of the song is made up from those parts. You've got another verse, the chorus again, and then at the end, uh, the outro is the same as the intro. So that is the truly wonderful old man. Go away and learn it. It's a top song. <laughs>